fellas for the sake of this video i cannot use you know specific usernames gamer tags twitter handles because i don't want anyone to get exposed or thrown under the bus however i'm getting dms and i'm getting comments and subscribers are reaching out to me letting me know that they got unfairly banned that they did not break terms of service and I 100% believe that they are not lying. Now, there might be a few that are saying that they didn't break terms of service and they actually did, but I know for sure there's a good amount of players that are currently banned that shouldn't be banned. How do I know? It's because the system that they implemented to figure out these transactions and what was illegal or legit is flawed. It's a flawed system. And without me throwing anyone under the bus, I've had plenty of subscribers also tell me that they should have been banned and they are currently not banned. Now, if you're in that category, if you're in that list of people that you purchased MT and you got away with it, hey, good for you. People also know a way in which they didn't get banned and that's because they were selling some of the upper tier cards like the Amethyst the Diamonds and Pink Diamonds. Uh, when they were making these MT uh, transactions. So if you were using the higher tier cards, I guess the system didn't quite pick up that you were maybe, you know, buying MT. So a lot of those guys that were purchasing MT, they didn't get banned. Again, I'm not trying to expose anyone. I'm just trying to call out the flawed system that 2K implemented. Uh, and it's mostly because there's people that are banned that are unfairly banned. Now, here's the thing. If you reach out to 2K, you open up a ticket, they will not show you proof of you breaking TOS. They do not have to prove. They don't. How do I know? I did it myself. I asked for the proof. I sent 2K multiple copies of me making legal purchases of obviously VC, uh, and they didn't care. They did not care. They didn't show me any proof. They refused to show me any proof. They just told me there's nothing they can do. So I know it's a flawed system. I know that the person I'm talking to obviously has no control and is not at fault. He is not the one in charge of these decisions. He's just the guy talking to me at the other end doing his job. But they will not show you proof because they don't have it. It's an automated system that's banning us. And that's flawed because innocent people are getting banned. And that's 100% wrong. You shouldn't have people getting unfairly banned. I, I don't even know how this is a thing. And then you have the people that got away with it because they went about it a certain way. Which kudos to them. They were smarter about the way that they sold certain cards. Fellas, it is really dry out here. There is very little people playing the game. This is the auction house right now. This is the auction house right now on PlayStation. Only two Galaxy Opal Yao Mings up on the market. That makes no sense. How can a card be so rare? Now, I want to do a little experiment on this video, man. If you were unfairly banned, I need you to comment down below because I got to see. I got to see how many of you guys claim that you were unfairly banned. Now, if you are like me and you're fully transparent and you don't mind saying the truth, if you were fairly banned, comment that as well. I know I was banned because I broke terms of service. If you're in that category, comment in the video as well. Let me know that you actually did break terms of service. And yes, you are experiencing the 10 day ban. While we are here and on the subject, I had to take some time out to address this comment that I got 42 minutes ago, and it's from Max City 74 He says, I'm not understanding why people are so mad at the ban. This was the reason why cards are 2 mil early in the game. Mac, I don't think you're really seeing the big picture here. I'm just going to say that. Look, I'm going to speak for myself, but I think a lot of people feel the same way that I feel. I accept my 10-day ban. I'm not mad at the fact that I got banned. OK, but to think that this is the reason why cards are overpriced because people were just buying MT. That's not the answer. That's not why we got here. People are buying MT because we had to find a way to get the cards we wanted because we were buying VC and it wasn't it wasn't giving us the cards at all. In regards to the ban, I don't think it's so much that we got banned. I think it was the way that they handled it. They gave us the warning and then they went ahead and gave us a 10 day ban, which for some people, it seems like it's it's a long time. Now, I got to show you guys this comment right here from Elevated. He says, I always low key didn't like the fact that people could just go buy MT and get whatever overpowered card they want. 
I think this levels the playing field. You're not going to be going against too many overpowered teams. Now it makes you have to actually put thought into your team. You're either going to go broke or actually learn how to put a team together. And personally, I think the ban should have been longer. So he thinks the ban should have been longer than 10 days. He actually believes that this is going to level the playing field. It is absolutely not going to level the playing field. See, buying MT is cheap and affordable and everyone can get the cards. As opposed to now people with deeper pockets are going to be able to have the overpowered cards and not necessarily everyone else. So the playing field, I would argue, it's more unleveled. What buying MT and be able to get these transactions off did was level the playing field. Did the prices get inflated? Yes, but to the point where everyone was still at the same level of having that amount of MT. See, if you are on a $20,000 a year salary with your bills and your regular expenses, and now you're going up against someone with a 150K salary a year, who do you think is going to have the better team, depending on who opens more packs? Who has the ability to open more packs? It's not a, a level playing field if you look at it from that perspective. So Big J went ahead and responded over here 12 minutes ago. I can build an insane team in a few weeks due to work as free to play. It's called sniping. Banning for buying MT will kill the Mycin community even more. And he's, he's, he's on point with this right here. But here's the issue. People are also getting banned for sniping. They're literally banning people for sniping they don't want you working in the auction house which makes no sense it's a part of the game i'm not going to lie i do feel like there's ways to make mt and build a somewhat competitive team uh by slowly playing the game and grinding up and not going for collector level or necessarily collecting all the cards in the game i feel like that would really you know make the grind tougher if you're trying to collect every single card without spending money you're gonna have to spend a lot of time playing the game and i think it's unrealistic however if you want to constantly upgrade your team and always have a competitive lineup on the floor i think that's very doable for most of the community even if you're not buying mt or even if you're not buying vc the problem is when you want to experience every card and you want to collect and you want to play the game a certain way, which is how I want to play. I want to experience most cards. I want to create content for you guys. I want to be able to choose between this card or the other, which one is better, which one has the animations that I enjoy more. And for that, you, you got to have the currency. You got to have the tokens. You got to have the MT to be able to try all these things out. Keep in mind, 2K does take a 10% cut every time you do a transaction in an auction house. Let me go back to this comment, and I want the viewers right now watching this video to answer. Do you think that the ban should have been longer than 10 days? Do you agree with that? Should the ban have been shorter, or is 10 days good enough? I know that there's a lot of people that don't even agree with a ban at all. Also, I want to ask you guys a question, and I don't think they'll do it, but do you think that 2K should lift the ban early? Should we be unbanned early, especially seeing that innocent players that shouldn't be banned are banned, and there's also players out there that should be banned but are not? Should 2K go ahead and lift this ban early? I'm going to wrap up this video by saying this. I found ways to still be playing the game, grind on other accounts. I entered the locker code today for the free Kevin Martin. I'm still having fun on the game. I'm not here complaining. I'm actually just making the best of it. Although a 10-day ban seems kind of harsh and it was unannounced, I don't think it's too much. But I think longer than 10 days, that's just too extra. That's just kind of too much. And what's the point? Think about the players that are actually playing the game now. The auction house is dry. There's not too many players playing the game. So if you want to play online, you might need to sit there for a while before you get a matchup. So I don't quite understand what the thought process here is. I know 2K is trying to get rid of the people that are buying MT. But I've said it before. That is not the solution. You got to fix the actual problem. And we all know what that is. Fix the pack odds, add toppers to every single promo, and I promise you, we are going to be just fine. I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. I know this one might be a little controversial. It's all good. Go to the comments. Let me know how you feel about everything I went over on this video. Hit the like button if you haven't already, man. Obviously, subscribe to the channel. I got more content on the way. I'll see you guys tonight for a stream. Let's get it.